we can actually watch these behaviors in living embryos by tagging the surfaces of cells with uh, uh, fusion proteins between GFP and various membrane proteins so we can follow individual cell shapes. And we watch this movie again, which you can see. This is again the blastoderm stage that we talked about. And watch in this area here, all the cells are pretty much the same, but right about there you can begin to see this fold happening. And then you begin to see remarkable changes in the behaviors of cells. You can see this movement of cells as they sweep and move around the, uh, the posterior, uh, uh, move around the end of the embryo. Obviously, as you watch the process, and we'll watch it one more time, uh, all the cells are the same. Individual cells begin to become distinct and with extraordinary reproducible patterns. So it's, embryos always make a head. They always make a head right here. They're always separated by folds. This behavior here, these cells here that are moving into this imagination here, ultimately going to form the, the endodermal or, or gut regions of the embryo. We could roll this embryo over and now we can watch from the ventral side and we'll can see, we see that other things are going on. You can actually see a little bit of this head fold here, but what's more striking in this, in this movements of cells. Again, watch right here, you see a fold forming. These are future muscle cells that are going to be brought into the interior of the embryo because obviously that's what you want, the embryo wants to have muscles.